Okay, so I'm at Shine 2011 with Dave Dawes and Mel Finlater. And Dave, I really enjoyed your session this morning. Um, you were talking about some of the financial issues around social enterprise and yeah. uh, the mistakes people make in trying to raise funds and um, all that sort of stuff. Can you tell me a little bit more about what your thesis was? Um, I think I have a number of theses. I think a lot of people think grants are free money, but they're not, and people spend a lot of time and effort chasing the wrong amount of money. I think grants are actually inherently unhelpful to a lot of organisations, and the bigger grants make problems a lot worse. And also I think that if you're a genuine social enterprise and there's real profit that you're going to make, then there's plenty of space then to get loan income, to get equity, to get cause equity. And it's much easier and much faster to get that money. Too many people go for grants. There's too many people chasing too few grants and spending far too long doing it. Okay, that's great. I interrupted a conversation between you two around there. Um, do you want to continue that conversation on the camera? <laughs> Would that be helpful? Well, we were talking about one of the things. There is an edit. There's almost no social entrepreneur business models in the web space, the app space, the iPhone space, the Google Android space. And yeah, that's the frontier where there's a lot of entrepreneurship, a lot of innovation. And to be honest, some multi million pound business models are just waiting there for the taking that could also address some real social issues. And we've both been coming to the same thoughts sort of independently. And it's, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's my. Um well, to do with your to do with your talk before, it was, uh, I come from a charity background, so it's very uh, I've made all those mistakes right. basically, <laughs> which is quite interesting. And it's much it, it's a uh, self confidence thing to believe whether or not you have a good enough business model to not go for grants, which is quite interesting. Um, but but yeah, going. We kind of found a kindred spirit in the fact that we're both kind of geeky, and that's what we were talking about before. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, I think there is a business model around that, and it's just kind of figuring out what it is. And uh, and technology and innovation goes together very well. Um, so bring the social aspect into it and see what happens, really. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is very serendipitous because I'm sort of working in that area as well. Okay. So cool. Hopefully, we can make some sort of connection. Yeah. Around around those issues. And I think. Well, I almost start from the thought experiment. Of what if? Twitter was a social enterprise, or Facebook, or Google, or Microsoft, and they could have been. The only reason they're not is because the founders didn't particularly get on that model. But actually, what if someone came up with a really cool idea that solves a massive problem that's adopted hugely and makes billions? There's, there's no reason why not. You know, one of the next ten great enormous internet mega star spin-outs could be a social enterprise. Which would very much be in the spirit of the origins of the internet. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, mm. I, I'm hoping in the next five years to be running the most profitable social enterprise in the UK, because I think we're in a space where it's easy to make an awful lot of money if you get the business model right and you solve a real problem and people adapt to it quick enough and you solve a real genuine need out there. Mm. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much.